Hello friends and welcome to AK Agrawal Aptitude Series. Friends, in this session we are going to learn a technique for solving a problem on probability. Here the given problem is a box contains 10 bulbs out of which 4 are defective. Two bulbs are chosen at random and fitted in two bulb holders to light a room. The probability that the room will be lighted. Four options are given. Means total 10 bulbs are there. We have to select two. But there are four defective bulbs. So what is the probability that room will be lighted? So friends, to answer such type of a question, first let us see the room will be lighted if we select two bulbs such that both of them are working two working bulb plus zero defective bulb or one working plus one defective because at a time we have to select two bulbs so both the bulbs are working or both the bulbs are working or only one bulb is working total two bulb here also two bulb if two defective bulbs are selected then of course room will not be lighted and we have to determine the probability that the room will be lighted so total possible events first let us determine total possible events total 10 bulbs are there and we have to select 2 it means 10 c2 we have to select 2 out of 10 these are the total possible events of selecting 2 balls out of 10 2 bulbs out of 10 that is 10 into 9 divided by 2 into 1 is equal to 45 so there are 45 different combinations of bulbs are possible to draw the 2 bulbs from this bag containing 10 bulbs now favorable events number of favorable events if we select two working and zero defective bulb zero defective is no bulb only two bulbs working how many working bulbs are there out of 10 four are defective it means six are in good condition good working condition so two bulbs we want to select in working condition that is six c2 because six working bulbs are there and we want to select two that is in our favor 6 c2 means 6 into 5 divided by 2 into 1 is equal to 15 so there are 15 different combinations are possible if we select two working bulb out of six working bulbs now number of favorable events if we select one working and one defective bulb one working bulb from the six working bulb in 6 c1 and one defective out of four defective bulb into 4 c 1 is equal to 6 upon 1 into 4 into upon 1 is equal to 24 so in 24 different ways we can select one working and one defective bulb so the required probability is given by favorable event divided by total events so favorable events of selecting two working bulb that is 15 upon 45 and probability of selecting one working and one defective bulb is 24 upon 45 this is given by 39 upon 45 so if we further simplify it it becomes 13 upon 15 so answer is b 13 upon 15 friends the same problem can be solved by another method also alternative methods here we have to determine the probability that the room will be lighted so if we determine room will not be lighted if two defective bulbs are selected because we have to select two if both the bulbs are defective it means room will not be lighted so let us determine this probability favorable events to select two defective bulbs there are four defective bulbs and out of four we want to select two it is given by 4 c 2 is equal to 4 into 3 divided by 2 into 1 is equal to 6 so there are six different combinations of uh, two defective bulb selections are there now maximum possible events or total number of possible events is equal to we have to select two out of 10 bulbs that is 10 c 2 is equal to 10 into 9 divided by 2 into 1 this is equal to 45 so we can select two bulbs out of 10 in 45 different ways and we can select two defective bulbs out of four defective bulb in six ways so the probability that room will not be lighted is equal to favorable event divided by total events favorable events are six total possible events are 45 this 6 upon 45 is the probability that room will not be lighted but we want to determine 
probability that room will be lighted the probability that room will be lighted it will be given by 1 minus probability that room will not be lighted 1 minus 6 upon 45 this is equal to 39 upon 45 is equal to 13 upon 15 so friends this is alternative method to solve the same problem this problem can be solved by either of the methods friends thank you very much for watching this video you can also follow me on facebook thank you very much